Kena kauti kato ko hadi aroha rafu to takwenu. I'm better known as HUD. HUD Consultancy has been the realisation of a long-term dream to work in land development and a special interest in developing Māori lands for the benefit of Fano. I have been very fortunate in forming a great relationship with Rohan Architectural Design, as Philip Clark has a unique talent for hearing and understanding what it is the client really wants. Together, we have developed what we call a holistic approach, especially for the Māori land developments that ensures both built and economical sustainability, which keeps the ownership of the land for the people, creates employment and respects the local history and the spiritual heritage of the land and importantly, ancestry. We have exciting projects where we have already successfully applied this approach. Now, both Philip and I would like to rescue some of the old character homes in Christchurch that are still sitting vacant, often abandoned and desperately in need of repair since the earthquake. They are unique to Christchurch and a big part of the city's heritage that we would like to help to retain. Maybe you would like to be to join us or be a part of that. I bring to these new ventures my extensive past experience in project development and management, business planning and strategic mapping, business research and due diligence. I developed these skills over a number of years working directly with the government in an advisory role. I was involved in working with treaty claims and in particular the Raupatu claims of Ngāti Manuputu representing our tūpuna te kanoa and ingoa. From this I have an extensive knowledge of Māori lands and their uses towards economic development. I first met Hub when he was putting together a proposal for a Māori land development near Mount Tongariro. I jumped at the opportunity to help and we really clicked over coming up with what we refer to now as our holistic approach to all our projects which I really love to do both architecturally and on all sorts of personal levels. And I find it the most natural thing to do is how can we leave out any aspect of how we live and work out of the equation. Uh, rather than putting together a purely commercial venture, and I think I'm repeating things that Hud's already mentioned, it's about taking into account the local iwi ancestry and the spiritual heritage of the land and how this development will benefit the whānau long term providing employment and making sure that they retain ownership of the land which is theirs. Uh, there needs to be an opportunity while retaining the incredible heritage aspects to make it relevant for young people so that the architecture, the whole built environment is refreshing and inviting and also so they still find the amazing and idealistic extended family culture supportive. particular passion of my own is to restore some of the abandoned character homes in Christchurch. Not to just repair them, but bring them up to date, give them back some of their former glory, maybe not always replicated historically correct detailing, but take them even further than that and give them a completely new lease on life, altering them to suit our modern lifestyles, providing all the conveniences we expect now, and still creatively retain the character charm. With sustainable living now being a global responsibility for each and every one of us, we will make sure we do our part so our restoration projects will include energy saving upgrades by installing full insulation, which many of the older houses still don't have, replacing windows with double glazed units, eliminating any use of fossil fuels for heating and cooking, and installing solar panels, all of which will also create much more comfortable homes. 
We extend our designs to include landscaping makeovers, retaining as many well-established canopy trees as possible, planting natives amongst decorative planting, introduce areas for vegetable production and herb gardening, and space for composting kitchen and garden waste. Philip has spent 20 years in Dubai, gaining a vast experience in master planning of large mixed-use developments. Architecture and conceptualising large developments and designing a lot of large private residences. And interior design for those homes and for five-star hotel resorts and spas. We thank you greatly for your time spent with us today and we hope that we have sparked some interest within you and that you would like to be somehow involved with us. We're constantly looking for investment and other business connections to bring our schemes to fruition. If you would like to know more please call or email me at the numbers or addresses shown on the screen. Tēnā koutou kato, o tātou tangata, ka nui te mihi, e nā iwi kato. He whenua o te tūpuna, waka mahi kei te mōheo, o te mana mō te haki. O mana tū o hanga, nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rakoutou kato.